Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the OnePlus 3, specifically the community build version 8 which is based on Nougat. This is TK, let's check it out. The main requirements or the main things you want to be aware of, A, you need to be on the OnePlus 3, not the 3T, so the beta only works right now with the 3. Uh, two things, I still have Twerp installed on my device, so I'm going to be using that. There is a custom modified version of Twerp um, that I did install, and I'll give you guys again a link in the description below for that. Main benefit here is that we're going to be going directly from the Open Community 7 build, which is what I have on my OnePlus 3 right now. You'll see that right there, OnePlus 302 Open 7. And we're going to go to Open 8, and Open 8 is the one that's based on Nougat. This one is still based on Android 6.0.1. Um, you can download the file, directly put it on your SD card or your internal storage. Now, this is my uh, Open Beta 7, this is my Open Beta 8, and I do have SuperSue sitting here in case I want to be able to flash it. I'm not going to go that route at this point, I'm just going to go through and just install this. The other thing I want to mention to you guys is that you may be wiping your entire device in this process, so make sure you back it up. Uh, so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and turn off the device, and I'm going to restart it. And I'm going to restart it and go into our recovery. So press and hold the volume down as it's rebooting, and then just let it go through. And then swipe down two more times and say recovery and give it a few seconds. Uh, I did download a custom version of the Twerp recovery, the latest version that's recommended in that thread. So you need to download that and install that on your device. And once you have it in, you pretty much just reboot back into it. I'm back into Twerp. I'm going to say install. I did sort them by date so I can see the latest version as the naming convention is really hard to tell. Uh, but you can see the spec bump of number. So 16, 11, 16, the build here is uh, 16, 11, 52. This is 3022. So we're going to go here. This process is called dirty flashing. Essentially, you're going from one version to the new version and you're just swipe, uh, flashing it over it and then you're going to reset the device. If you're running a custom ROM, you're definitely going to need to know uh, as far as basically what you need to do to convert from one to the other. You don't just jump from one to the other. Uh, and I'll give you guys a link in the description below to follow through. What I'm going to go through this is once it's done flashing, it's going to say reboot. Uh, patching firmware, go back. I'm just going to say go back here, go back one more time, I'm going to go wipe and I'm going to reset my device. So this gives me the benefit of no fact, no issues, no settings, no concerns. I'm going to just go ahead and so repeat, reboot her on the device. And then that pretty much it, going from open seven to open eight with twerp. I didn't flash um, any custom, uh, you know, like a super sue or anything for root. No expose at this point as Nougat does not support new, uh, you know, expose. So just be aware of that when you're flashing this and you're restarting your device. So the device restarted, um, again, it just says improve location. So we're going to say get started. I'm going to skip all the setups right now. And here we are. Um, this is the main screen. Again, from what we look at, at least right now. Oh, okay. I can start seeing some of the main differences here. Uh, the aesthetics are a little different. Let's go ahead and bump up the, uh, the screen brightness. Yeah, very, very much what we were expecting. So um, initially, the, uh, the toggles are pretty much the same, what we saw in the community build version 7. Uh, the aesthetics here are slightly different. The option to customize the lock screen, uh, Wi-Fi is connected, of course, to my network. Let's go ahead into settings, go all the way down. Well, actually, we didn't even have to go far and the buttons are reversed again. Um, Android 7.0 here. Uh, we are running Oxygen OS 4.0, which is the new version. 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of RAM, of course, uh, internal storage, Android Nougat. Uh, and let's go ahead and open it up. Here we are. Very, very, very happy with this. Um, overall, the same thing we have the never settle of course this is the uh toggle on the left side it's a little bit looks like it's a little bit bigger i'm not sure if it's intended to be this way but it looks very nice uh we do have the same app drawer applications are all pretty much the same again i went straight from a stock seven to a to an eight no big difference there um, I, let me see if i did lose any of my information so let's go to file manager internal storage nope here it is, my original version of uh, Oxygen OS version 7. Uh, this is based on Marshmallow, this is based on Nougat, and I do have the ability of flashing uh, Super Sue. I'll give you guys a link in the description below if you want to go with the version of Super Sue that does work, as one version with the uh, beta release ones seems to have a problem with the SIM card. You'll notice that all my radios are working over there. Now, let's go ahead and go into, actually, no. open up customizing. I'll go back, customizing here, go settings. Uh, so switch layout, we can go from standard to simplified. Not that we want to do that. Let's go back here. And then uh, we do have the ability of going enable shelf. I'm going to disable that for now. Quick search. So this is very similar to what we saw in the community build seven. The settings and the, the options are pretty much in the same spot. Customizing, we have the ability of going here to dive, small. 
and then that was it actually they took away the ability to remove that so let's go ahead and say okay there's no save option so i'll go back and then that goes in and interesting so let's go back here can i remove it yes so it's removable now by uh, manually as far as here uh, now let's open up a couple of apps i want to see basically how we're going to do with the multi-window so let's go down here and then i'm going to open up uh, let's say chrome so we have a couple of applications running. Let's open up the Recents app. So you notice we have Chrome, we have YouTube, File Manager. Uh, we still have the ability of clearing all, but let's go ahead and open up here. So if you press and hold and drag to the top, you get this one on the top, and then you can press this one on the bottom. And here is our multi-window implementation. Um, if you noticed at the beginning, so let's go home. If I hit the Recents app, it brings them up again, and I can close it. But if I go normal Recents app, it doesn't actually give us the ability. So if I press and hold long, long pressing it, it takes us into the settings. It doesn't take us into multi-window. So keep that in mind. You have to open up multi-window, press and hold, and drag it to where you want it. And then you can open up the second one. We can go over here, do a search. Uh, no, thank you. don't want to share that information. And I'm going to say NCS. Go here. And then here, I'm just going to say XDA. Let's go ahead and do a search. Of course, XD is going to come up first. And let's go ahead to the site. And in here, I'm going to be trying to listen to some videos. So again, the main benefit of what you want to do here is be able to use both of them. So the music is going to start playing here. And what we have is the ability of resizing, of course, and we can experience. Here's XDA's mobile site. Um, and here's OnePlus 3 receives the Android 7 on the Oxygen Droid via Open Beta 8, exactly what we're testing right now. Uh, I'm not sure why this is still buffering. Uh, let's try a different song. We'll go unknown. Here we are. Like you, be strong, to hold the powers of the sun. So overall, still very, very nice. Okay, uh, and then we can go back. Now, if I press recent, so let's just do this. We'll go into Chrome. It takes us back into directly into uh, YouTube. Let's go ahead and take that out. And if I double press it, again, very, very nice, very, very good here. Uh, let's go into the settings real quick. I wanna check out real quick. Yes, the quick toggle on the left side did come through and we have that all available for us. Uh, and we can go through and look at the different settings. So Wi-Fi, home, Bluetooth, all the different things, alert, uh, the button options. I'm gonna reverse those as this drives me crazy. I always like my recents on the left. Press home, at, uh, double press home, uh, the power button to be able to you know, get the camera, lawn pressing, shortcuts, very nice. Uh, gestures, we were looking at those before, double tap to wake, open the camera, of course, this is off screen. System gestures, flip to mute, and three finger to screenshot, which is very nice. Status bar customizations, again, always there. Uh, display set, uh, options, battery notification, sound. Let's go into the display real quick. Theme is default. Font size, we can go in and change it into smaller font size. That's specifically what I wanted to check now. Let's go into About System. We'll go into Build Number. And we're going to turn on Developer Options. As I want to see if the native DPI option is in there. And I'm also going to turn on System Tuner. And here it is. System Tuner has been added to my side. So you'll notice there's two new things here. We have Developer Option and System Tuner. System Tuner gives us a couple of options to be able to customize. Uh, the Do Not Disturb option is turned on. Volume button to short, uh, you know, button shortcuts. Go back and then Other. Uh, enable Split Screen Swipe Up Gesture. So enabling Split Screen, enter Split Screen by swiping up from the Overview menu. And Power, power Notification Controls gives us the ability to control that. Very nice. Uh, one thing I did want to go into is as far as developer settings, and let's go ahead and find select a default app, nope, in section, uh, buffer size, and where is it? I think it's usually right there at the bottom. So here is smallest width DPI. We can actually change our custom DPI. Again, 360 is the default here. I'm going to go to 340 just to see how it looks like. Go OK, go home, slightly smaller. Not bad. So again, very nice. We're getting all the main benefits that we wanted to get out of the system. Uh, let's go back to 360. Not that I don't want to be there, but let's go ahead and say yes. Go back and it redraws. It's not that big of a difference overall. I think really it looks very similar because uh, I did go with a smaller size font on the display. So it's kind of a lot already kind of customized. Um, apps, very clean, very easy. Definitely very excited that we have Nougat now on our OnePlus 3. Um, it's not available for the OnePlus 3T yet, so please be aware if you have the 3T, don't just jump in and you start using this. 
Uh, again, I did flashes using twerp. I didn't want to move away from twerp. I didn't want to go full stock. And I actually have the ability of getting root back by flashing in the custom version of the SuperSue. And I'll give you guys a link specifically to the one that's working without any SIM card issues. There's two that work, but one has problems with the SIM card where it kind of turns off and the SIM card becomes undetectable. Uh, but overall, very nice. I'm looking forward to checking it out and seeing how things work on this. Uh, exciting to see NuGet on more devices. I did the Honor 8 not that long ago for you guys in a video. Now the OnePlus 3 is getting it. So more and more devices are getting it in beta. Again, this is beta, so please be aware not everything is working. There's some issues like Android Pay doesn't work correctly. There's a little bit of hiccups here and there. Uh, but overall, very nice. I'll do a quick comparison video for you guys coming up very shortly between it and the 3T just to see as far as scores. Uh, just to see again how the experience is uh, going to Nougat on the OnePlus 3. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.